So this is what I got, super lift uh, shock absorbers. Gonna be installing them today. Got it on Black Fridays. And pop it open the box, see what I got in here. One shock. I don't know if it's the long one or the shorty. <clears throat> okay, I guess. I don't know. Okay, yeah, that was the, the rear forward. Let's see. Another rear. <clears throat> and another forward. Shadow, oh, stickers for the shocks. So they're super lift shadow shocks. Yeah, against all advice, I bought cheap shocks. Oh well. <laughs> Heck, they were only like $20 more than the extension, so I figured, eh, might as well get it. Yeah. Superlift, I guess they tried to make a comeback into the Jeep world, but um, I don't know. I guess they didn't just they just didn't take off. So these are on sale. Get them while you can. I jacked the wheel. Of course, uh, break the torque on the lug nuts first and take it off. Okay, so I jacked up the uh, vehicle from here just in front of the control arm and then I loosened up the, uh, the lower shock bolt in yeah these are backwards <laughs> run them inway, inwards that way there's not a, enough protruding and uh, I was looking at this part let me see what it is this camera's kind of Kind of weird right up there is the shock so this thing's got to come out and i gotta take off these bolts where the heck is it uh, these bolts right here and that bolts right there these two take this plastic out so you get access to the the shock but um anyway i also put another jack another jack right there just to support the, the whole axle so when uh, I disconnect the uh, the shock the whole axle doesn't come down so just supporting it right there a little hockey puck in the way help it out all right I'll get get busy right now get the 516s going 516s three bolts let me see Okay, so yeah, it was uh, these three, uh, actually sheet metal screws, but they're uh, 5 sixteenths, and that piece came off, and now I have access, it's another uh, use for the, uh, that ex extension uh, lug nut wrench, uh, what do they call it, telescoping lug wrench, so, so this is an 18 millimeter. And it's the same size as the, uh, as the socket. So, you can use it as a, a cheater bar. Help my job a little easier. All right. Okay, so I got the old left rear, the OEM. It's not that old. OEM uh, shock out. Here's the the new rear one that we're going to be putting in and uh yeah that's all it took but right here it's got a flag nut or some kind of nut it's got a, there it is so it took the bolt bolt out of here it is the comparing the two the longer one is the tall the top one the shorter one is the 
But one big mistake that happens is, um, even I did it, is uh, you can put them in that direction. Boy, this camera's something else. Hey, there we go. Some people put it in this direction. Don't do that because it could snag on the rock. Put them in, in this direction. So you have less to snag on and the, the shock tower's right there helping you out. Anyway, so go ahead and get this shock installed. Hey, okay, so let's install the, the top top first and make sure you keep it loose so so when uh, you're ready to cut the cut the uh, the band off that you can slide it over here and uh, as this extends try to line it up to here Just slide your bolt in and, uh, I'm gonna be down on the on the creeper when that happens all right all right, success. Got the uh, bolt pointed in the right way. You can take the uh, back out. Knife away. Okay, it's installed. Looks pretty good. So, look how much down travel it got. Quite a bit. I can't even shove the tire back on. It's so low. So I'm going to have to have to use that jack to jack it up so I can put the tire on. Okay, for the right rear, what I did was I disconnected the the lower bolt, and then I uh, went ahead and jacked the right rear section, and then took out the uh, the inner liner and took out the uh, the, the top bolt and then now I went ahead and just uh, loosely put it in where it still dangles now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get down there and hook it up because that thing will extend quite a bit okay so the right rear I was able to just jack it a little bit gain some clearance and I was able to uh, just Remove that and uh, hook it up right there. That was pretty much it. Pretty much it. Over here and disconnect it. I mean, not disconnect it, lower this jack. Okay. We'll take a look. Oh, that's it. Now I'll go ahead and put this sticker on, call it good. Hey, it's all done. That's that rough country uh, rear disc skid. And that's the uh, left rear shock. Uh, obviously, here's the right rear shock. So that's all done. Now I'm going to get started on the, on the front shocks. Okay, for the right forward, I went ahead and disconnected it. And then I came up here and... Uh, the inner liner oh man <laughs> it's just on the edge I took off uh, these two uh, push clips in out and I took out these uh, three 10 millimeter bolts there they are and uh, I took out this one here and I uh, just just got got it loosened up so uh, anyway now I've put in the new one I haven't cut the uh, the wires yet I'm about to go ahead and reinstall it I, I didn't even use a jack or anything so maybe uh, you get lucky where you don't even have to do the same thing with yours so. alrighty okay so I got it in inner liners all put in broke one of these right here that one right that one actually right there but um, yeah, I got I got more. I got a whole pack pack of a hundred for like ten bucks. Anyway, 
but uh, shocks in. And the runner's not too mangled up. Not that anyone noticed. I noticed. That's how it always works, right? Put this one back in. That one back in right there. Got this screw back in. That uh, push clip. Another uh, Should be about all of them. That's it for now. One, one last shock to go. Ah, take a look at that. Shadow Super Live shock. And of course, Terraflex. This is a, a three inch. I got a 2.5 inch, and this is what I got three inch. <laughs> Whatever, I'm not gonna complain. Now I got the, the shock to go with it. I know, I know, I went cheap. Oh well. I'm not sponsored, <laughs> so I'm going with it. All right, later. Okay, so what I wanted you to know, that I disconnected the uh, front left. That's about how much play I had, not much. I had about what a quarter inch <laughs> before it bottomed out and then uh this uh, top part this uh this front left one's uh, turning out to be a lot easier i didn't i didn't have to push very hard at all and uh yeah now i got i got access to it the other the right side for some reason it was a lot tougher it was probably have to shove it up by it inch and a half or so. But this one's uh, a lot easier. So that's good. Heck, I always start off with the hard one. And then as I, as I learned, I got better at it, so. Let's see. Yeah, this sucker's about ready to fall out, so. I gotta put the camera down later. All right, so. That's the, uh, old front left that's the new front left made by shadow anyway I'm gonna keep this uh, hooked up get this uh, bolt started and then and then uh, once I'm ready to hook that one the lower side up then I'll go ahead and cut that hope to make it easy <laughs> I've been lucky three times so far so have a good shot all right, uh, the top one, it's top uh, shock uh, bolt is not completely tight. I left it loose so the shock can uh, hang freely. This is the secret of how I, I, I get going. So the bolt, I put it in the correct alignment and I keep it here. And I keep, uh, see if you can see this, I keep the pry bar ready right here just like that and that helps me uh, helps me when I'm when the time comes I just move the pry bar in and out so I'll go ahead and cut this wire the wire I'll cut the wire off and then uh, as it, as the shock extends I'll grab with my right hand the uh, pry bar, my left hand the, the bolt, kind of kind of shimmy it in there, just get it ready. And uh, but yeah, that's that's how I get lucky. <laughs> I kind of create my own luck. But anyway, just thought you should uh, see how I do it. And yeah, I screwed up. <laughs> I put the sticker on where. I was trying to get it to where you could see it from the outside, but <laughs> I messed up. I was looking at the at the other part, not the uh, the down part. But uh, if I would have aligned it 90 degrees to this, it would have been right. 
Oh well, it's their fault for not setting it up for me. All right, talk to you later. All right, so that was a success. And now, just tightening down the last one. The last bolt. See how this, I couldn't do this with the left side. I did it with the right side. The left side, for some reason, it's working out. The air liner, that is. Yep. Now I'll go get a torque wrench. Call it good. Make it easy. Alright, so that's it. They're all done. It's all tightened up. Torque down. Yeah, this little camera, I was just testing it out. It's got a little gimbal. I could do all kinds of weird things to it. Anyway, that was a perfect fit. <laughs> That's the aftermarket one, and that's the stock one. And I think the, the aftermarket ones are, are a little bit better. I think I got a like a hundred for ten bucks. Got a bag of them. I, I take them everywhere. Anyway, right front. Right rear. Left rear. I just really didn't didn't even need the shock. I mean the uh, the jacks. I, I started with them, but pretty soon they just got in the way. Got a lot a lot quicker. <laughs> had I known. Anyway, here's all the old shocks. The stock shocks. Yeah, it it definitely flexes out quite a bit better. Anyway, I'll take it on a little test drive a little bit. That's it for now. Gotta go on a little test drive. Huh, forgot to take the little bl blocks of wood out. Can't get them out now. <laughs> so I gotta just drive over them. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely feels a little better. I didn't realize those shocks were maxed out. <laughs> the old, the, the original ones. Christmas songs. Yeah, this thing is definitely not so bumpy. That's my battery tender. Hey, it's 
speed bumps. He'll take the speed bumps without slowing down. Eh, not too bad. Feel about the same. Good. Test drive is good. Yeah, I have a good one.